Welcome to my channel. I'm Liana, a mum of 11 from Melbourne, Australia, and this is a two week grocery haul for a family of 13. <music> Now this grocery haul includes a large shop from Woolworths Australia as well as a smaller shop from Coles Australia, both online deliveries uh, and as I said for two weeks um, of groceries for a family of 13. So you'll see lots of bulk but it is pretty much all good food. There's a few little treats in there uh, but we're back to normal. My last shopping haul I uploaded was just before Christmas and it was, um, you know, fun Christmas stuff. This one is far more neutral. You see just a lot of meat, veggies, that sort of thing to show you what it takes to feed 13 people for two weeks. We eat at home all the time. Uh, we rarely even have takeaway. So it is genuinely three meals a day and snacks for 13 people. This is what it looks like. Enjoy. Okay, so let's get on to the fridge freezer things and then I'll get those things away. I got 12 milks. This is for two weeks, 13 people. However, we will still need to get more milk. A few of us only really have milk in, in coffee, I think. And we have two lots of uh, minced beef. One of these is for spaghetti bolognese, which will do two nights and the other one is to put in the freezer or if we come up with something last minute that we would rather do with with minced beef chicken drumsticks i have two lots of that that's for one night and then some chicken breast that is for curry one night some steak i just got the chuck steak because it's cheaper and it's still quite nice and i got a lot of that that's for everyone to have with vegetables one night then i got some chicken honey soy uh, kebabs and then these were half price I did not pay I got four of them I did not pay $60 for this I paid $30 so pork shoulder and we're having those in rolls with uh, salad ingredients two packets of bacon one packet of salami now we're doing homemade pita bread pizzas one night so that'll be for that and usually I do a bit of bacon for that as well. We're just about all out of eggs. We're on to our last dozen. I eat eggs like every single day, as do a few people here. So that's 10 dozen eggs for the two weeks. I also happen to, I've got other fruit and veggies that'll pop out in a minute, but I happen to have, these were with the eggs and they smell amazing. Just two punnets of strawberries. We'll have them with breakfast tomorrow. Two packets of parmesan cheese and one of aged cheddar cheese, as well as two block butters. I'm also getting some spreadable butter. This is for baking and cooking, that sort of thing. And then we can also use it if we run out of the spreadable butter for toast. Then uh, cream cheese, sour cream, and just regular cream, as well as eight Greek yogurts, a few of us eat Greek yogurt just about every day as a meal with some you know nuts and fruit and um, I have I've made a meal plan for the two weeks including all meals and snacks and I will show you that but um, yeah we're everybody's going to be having Greek yogurt bowls a couple of times during that time as a lunch or a breakfast I think just lunches four blocks of tasty cheese and two punnets of Valia vanilla yogurt as well as two packets of blueberries we put those on yogurt I make smoothies uh, put them in porridge or whatever and then pack of baby peas that's for half will be for with a meal as a veggie side and half will be for with the curry and then we're having a stir fry one night so those vegetables are for that then fish fillets that's to have in wraps with salad one night uh, if we don't have it in wraps we need like an extra packet but with wraps that bread it really bulks it out a bit they become quite filling little mini spring rolls that's for when we have some people over it's nice to have something to pop in the oven so I'll pop this stuff away and then bring the rest onto the table 
Okay, and now the pantry items. So we have some wheat bix knockoff wheat biscuits, two of those, as well as some oats for porridge and some maple syrup plain flour and self-raising flour for baking coffee beans some pepper some salt some jalapenos some mayonnaise some honey vegemite and frank's red hot sauce two packets of green waves and two packets of regular chips four loaves of white bread and then we also have some English muffins, I'm doing like belts, but in, in, in English muffins. So that should be nice. And then they're the wraps for the fish. They're the pita breads for the pizza and two loaves of wholemeal, whole grain. Red onions, brown onions. There's one kilo and two kilo of those. Garlic, two iceberg lettuces with lots of outer leaves. <laughs> Four heads of broccoli six nice big avocados, a pumpkin, some cucumbers and some zucchini, as well as some mushrooms, tomatoes, two kilo of carrots, and four punnets of white nectarines, as well as some red grapes and some mixed lettuce. Then we've also got two kilo of basmati rice, some, what are they, shin ramen, a couple of my boys love those, and then seven lots of spaghetti. We use two for each meal, but I got three for one meal in particular because it's going to be a broccoli pasta, so there's no meat and you need a bit more substance to it. Some macaroni, I'm doing mac and cheese with a meal for the kids one day. Sunflower seeds, two packets of these, I love them. The cacao, whoop, cacao coated almond mix, it's delicious. It's just got pepitas, coconut, the almonds and some cranberries in there, it's delicious. I have it on yogurt. And then two packets of pretzels, one packet of peanuts, one packet of banana chips, 12 apple purees, some olive oil, two passata sauces, one coconut oil, two coconut milks, some granulated nuts, and three packets of Massaman curry. And then for household and toiletry products, toilet paper, pillows, a couple of people had requested a new pillow, as well as some kitty litter, some nappies for Charlie. They're just his daytime nappies. I get better ones for nighttime. They're coming in the coal shop some wipes, two lots of body wash, two lots of hand soap refill, two lots of uh, toothpaste and one baby toothpaste. Charlie and Isla both use this one, she prefers it, even though she's four, not three, that's fine. And then Q-tips, this is my favourite shampoo at the moment, it smells absolutely beautiful. Some window cleaner, some bench spray, some floor cleaner, a couple of dish brushes as well as some scourers, a couple of toilet cleaners, some dry cat food, dine cat food, some triple A batteries, two dishwasher powders, some bin bags, some wool wash, three lots of laundry liquid and two lots of laundry sanitizer. And I'll be back with the Coles shop this afternoon and in the meantime I'll have a nice cold shower and some breakfast and have a bit more energy. <laughs> okay, now it's a few hours later. The Coles shop has arrived and I'll show you what we got there. Now I do a little shop at Coles as well to get things that are a better deal there. I get free delivery at both places so it's worth my while. I got Tiny Teddy cereal we do fun cereal each Saturday for the kids. So that's for one Saturday and Nutri-Grain for another Saturday. Instant noodles for an easy lunch one day. Some chocolate biscuits, caramel crowns and chocolate teddy bears for when we have people over on the weekend. Two smooth peanut butters and one crunchy. Some dry roasted cashews, some pepitas. Two packets of milk chocolate chopped chips and two packets of the white ones there to put with some nuts for a fun treat uh, snack 
two times, two or three times in the fortnight for the kids. Some English breakfast tea bags, some instant noodles that we're using those in the chicken noodle stir fry I'm doing, two packets of Ritz crackers, some mingle use me on everything seasoning, a bunch of breads. I did get a different type but they substituted so we've got I don't know, it's about eight loaves and two packets of rolls. That's for when we do the pulled pork for dinner one night. Two kilo of potatoes. I actually also accidentally got um, three kilo of carrots at Coles. So I got carrots at both places. So we've got plenty of those. And then three kilo all up, two bags of sweet potatoes. Dishwasher noises in the background. I got 15 bananas. One or two have already been eaten and i got four packets of little mini apples as well as two cantaloupe then i got four two liter tubs we go through two so four liters for one dessert and we do dessert once a week so i got vanilla cookies and cream mint choc chip and choc chip then I also got some chocolate custards, two packets of those for the kiddos, as well as just some little yogurts. Uh, they're sugary ones, you know, but then these are um, the Valia blueberry yogurt. Ham for sandwiches. This is quite an economical way to do it if the um, pre-sliced ham is not on sale. Two spreadable butters, some burger sliced cheese that's for when we do the pulled pork rolls and then two lots of coconut water two packets of night nappies for charlie some laundry fabric spray as well as some dishwashing liquid and a brute deodorant thank you so much for watching i look forward to sharing more content with you very soon i am hoping to get a a meal video up for you a recipe video however I also thought I might do uh, a week in what we eat to show you how I put all this food to use let me know in the comments if you like that idea thanks for watching you take care bye bye